Hi, welcome. This is a video about Grub, but Grub in a non-technical way. Becoming technical is quite easy. You just Google your standard Arch Wiki Grub and you'll arrive at the Grand Unified Bootloader page where you can read all about it. So I point you, point you in this direction. But like I said, it's not a color, gonna be technical. What I found some time ago were Grub two themes from Vince and it looks like this. So when you boot up, it, you can have this kind of look because in this case, this scenario here, you have five partitions with five actual uh, distributions on it. So Vince made a stylish theme, well, three of them. And uh, you see now two pictures. This is the Vimix one. This is the dark, um, dark stylish one and he has created another one which is called the slays one so there is a way to make grub nicer it's the thing when you boot up and you see these black lines the black black uh, background with some white lines on it and you select the partition or the operating system you want to boot into that's grub okay i reached out to vince and i asked vince hey is it possible if you can make or add not make, but add our Arch Linux PNG and our Arch Linux B PNG and Arch Linux D PNG. And he has um, added them to the system, which means that we now actually can use this Vimix system or as, as well as the others. So this, this is a theme, one of the themes and there are three themes, so it's just a theme name. And we've also made um, another, uh, package for us guys. So on Arch Linux, there is now this possibility to install our own Grub theme. Okay, let's go ahead and start installing Arch Linux Grub Vimix. So it's uh, that easy to install a new, gram a new uh, Grub theme, which is called Vimix in this case. And the tip is use Grub, Grub Customizer to choose to the Vimix team. So it's already installed, super easy. You just type, type Grub Customizer, click on it. He wants to be root, of course, he's going to write in the boot folder. And maybe we should take a look at it, Eric. So what's gonna happen if you install this, it's going to add a folder called Vimix in boot Grub themes. In here, you'll find all the wallpapers I've added. So this is not the proper Vimix anymore. This is, uh, contains eight backgrounds. So that's the added value that we bring extra backgrounds. And of course, uh, we have now these icons here for the different operating or ISOs or distros that we have, Arch Linux, Arch Linux B and Arch Linux D. Fine. The only thing I need to know, and that's, well, install Grub Customizer if you're on Arch Linux D or in B and experimenting on Arch. You need to grab customizer, which is so easy because you just say click Vimix save. That was a technicality. So it doesn't get any easier than that. Then we reboot. Now there's one thing you should know. This is plain old VirtualBox and VirtualBox is never nice. Why? Because when you boot up, you get this screen of, I don't know, uh, let's say how, how small is that screen? Restart, okay, 640 by 480, something like that. It's so super, super small, but the images are actually made for 1920 on 1080, so full HD, more or less, depending on the wallpaper. So it's gonna be looking a lot nicer and I have pictures ready for you guys to see that on the website. But this is an example, right? So at Linux, so this is when you just say, install Grub Customizer, Vimix, save, that's what you get. Now, there are two things you can do. You can either say, I stick in Grub Customizer, stay here, and I change, oh, that's not my password. And I do not go inside file system boot, Grub, themes, Vimix. So what I did all the time was the following. This theme.txt 
is actually pointing to an, an, an file called background JPEG, right? So that's the desktop image, the background. So if I change nothing here, but if I overwrite this one with this one, which is actually exactly what I've done, it's the copy, right? Copy paste. So what you can do, and it's all up to you, is actually copy paste this one over. So copy paste this one to here, copy paste that one to here, copy paste that one to here, and so on. Let's give me, let's give you an example. <clears throat> well, you have to be pseudo, of course. And then you say Arco Linux. Well, oops, that's not the one I want. So sudo, control C, sudo Arco Linux. He does not want to do that. I am in Vimix, right? Just checking. Oh, Eric, what am I doing? What am I doing? So I want to copy something, right? CP. So Arco Linux, one. I kind of like this number one, it's a nice design. And then I copy it over to the background. That's basically it. If you do this all the time, every time, what he's going to do is change that one into that one. And that's all I need to do. Or you can so you can go in this um, pop, 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 themes text and start changing this line into Arco Linux 2 or one or three or four or five or seven, right? But I prefer, this is my choice, you can do it here. I prefer to just copy paste over like so, so that I know nothing has changed the theme. I didn't know, make any mistakes in here. It's just copy pasting over that one, over that one, over that one, over that one. Always back to the background.gpg. Let's have a look. So it's not that technical. Everything has been uh, taken care of by Vince. And we have added some um, um, some backgrounds, a nice package build, everything on our Linux repos. And this is a very, very small. Remember, it's going to be blowing up like 1920 on 1080. Looks awesome when it's that big. But um, it's there. It's, it's there for you to install. It's there for you to set up and forget about it. And um, it'll be nice. Uh, once you see it in full screen and not on virtual box. So basically, um, I'm thinking, what else is there to say? Yes, there were some spin-offs. So once I was, uh, when, when I was experimenting with Vince, his, uh, uh, well, his Grub themes, I found also Grub Stylish Dark. So why not install, Ooh, let's have a look, quick look, quick, 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 quick boot grub themes right just these two now i'm gonna install it so that happens when you install vimix it happens when you install stylish dark what happens you just add a folder with some images there you go and that's the background so this time this is not called vimix anymore so i need to go to grub customizer and tell him forget about vimix let's take another grub theme so wait for it and you have here now the stylish dark safe super technical thanks to grub customizer and let's boot again again 640 by 480 rather small i do not hope anybody's working on a screen that size I really don't but it looks awesome or not then you choose another wallpaper, it's simple as that. And last but not least, it's, I found that, um, well, if you if we were looking at this website earlier on, we saw there was also Slays or something like that, right? So Control T, when we do A Grub and then Slays or something, it was, yeah, that's it. it. There was no AOR package yet. So I've created one for you, AUR, meaning Arch Linux, um, Antergos, I mean, any Arch Linux based system can now install Grub theme Slays. And it's actually coming from Vince, his uh, GitHub. I haven't changed anything. It's just 
a package build that I've created and it's this is his text so it's just the way he wants it I hope and this is his github right nothing changed it's just straight from him just a package build but this gives us another grub theme so grub customizer what did uh, Vince create lace save wait for the block the bar here at the bottom till it ends then you can reboot and there we go this is the other look also very nice looks nice as well in 1920 on 1080 so on the laptop screen resolution it's all good so that's one thing and maybe to finish off the tutorial if you were looking for yay and then grub and then vimix we get a lot of stuff now this one is actually not from um from him not from vince it's from another github you you can check this out how do you do such things eric all right so the grub theme Vimix, this guy, this is Vince. So you see, you can already read where it's coming from, but there are others where this, I believe it was coming from somewhere else, if I'm not mistaken, but I'm doubting myself now, but AOR is not on as well. So let's give him all the knowledge about AOR by clicking here, clicking there, close and ask him to look again and now we have here this AOR so lots of things about um, Vimix or Grubs basically we have the green the Grub themes Vimix there's a Grub 2 ah this one I think it's this one that's from somewhere else the Grub 2 this one let's have a look this is coming from another github right you see it's not from Vince it's from seven day or something and um, so it's a little bit different uh, so basically it's not the same right grub themes Vimix is from Vince it's a little bit uh, well tough to to figure it out but once you know so Vince that's okay and so skip this guy because it's not the real the real github from Vince I built upon Vim um, upon Vince's GitHub and made this one, Art Linux Grub Theme Vimix, which is containing all the wallpapers. And then there is also a community Grub Theme Vimix as well present. So it makes a little bit um, interesting and also a little bit uh, well confusing. But what I did is the following: if you do install number one, the community, then it's going to install it, and you'll see you say oh there's a problem so we're actually talking about the same packages here so what you need to do is uninstall ours from Arch Linux because it's actually the same thing sudo pacman minus remove Arch Linux okay more Arch Linux grub theme our theme is out and this means that uh, yep, let's take that one. This means that number one can come go in because 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 When I removed that package It was also removed from themes stylish dark is there but Vimix is gone and I reinstall Vimix now, but from another package which in turn gives Vimix as well with another background PNG as you can see this is the look that will be present when you install that package but as you can see then the Arch Linux icons will not be present there is no Arch Linux available here so to make things more uh, messy <laughs> that's how it works now if that's installed and you say no I want to have uh, Arch Linux back because it doesn't have any icons then you go back to Arch Linux and then grub themes and in this case Again, we have the, the blockage or the double use of the same files. 
So pseudo pacman minus r get rid of grub theme and then vimix. There you are. And then you can go back up and install Arc Linux version. And the Arc Linux version again will contain the wallpapers, the icons. The only thing I need to do now, and maybe let's end with that. Like you see, the wallpapers, the icons are here. And last but not least, last one, last time. Let's take another one. First of all, tell the system what to take because this is Slace. First say, okay, take Vimix. And um, let's also maybe do it this way. So we see also the possibility to change the wallpaper via this Grub customizer, not copy pasting over, but saying, for instance, Arclinx 3 is also a nice one. Arco. No type was allowed, you understand. Arco Linux 3, okay. And then we save. And then we just reboot, restart. And that's all you need to know about Grub really. Install a package, know what the Grub customizer does and switch the wallpaper if you like to. And that's basically it and now we can Leave it there for the coming months and um, have fun. So this is us having some fun with uh, some styling and um, you can use that new Grub package as of today. All right, enjoy.